And hey, well this is Francisco from One Share Doctor Phone, and by the end of this video, you're going to learn how to get access to your Android phone, even if it's got a broken screen. So keep watching. And now firstly, there are going to be a couple of things that we should take a look at before doing anything else. For one, it is going to be a good idea to check if you've got some kind of coverage for a broken screen from the manufacturer or if you've got insurance for it. Some time ago, physical damage like a broken or cracked screen wasn't really covered under the free service repairs by the manufacturer. But thanks to the coverage schemes, this is that do ensure that you can get a free screen replacement if you have insurance for one, you can actually get that done and it is definitely worth checking for. Just go ahead and walk over into the nearest authorized repair center and get that broken screen replaced. If not, then we can go ahead and move forward with the following methods that are coming up soon. And another thing is that in case you're trying to wipe off the broken screen pieces, if you're opting to do so, be extremely cautious throughout or else the tiny pieces of glass can actually hurt you and end up cutting you. You do not want that. To avoid any such cuts and bruises, do ensure to use proper safety equipment like rubber gloves or something like that. And if necessary, seal the phone screen with transparent tape or just use a screen protector before touching it so that that way you don't end up hurting yourself in the process of course. However, there are quite a few things that you can do for now, such as attempting to retrieve your data from your phone. And the advantages of using Dr. Phone are that it is incredibly simple to use, even for people with no technical skills, and it is very reliable, and not to mention that it is accessible to pretty much everybody. For Android 8.0 and later, you do have to root your device before accessing it using this tool, however. So step one, go ahead and download and install Dr. Phone on your PC. Links to that are going to be down in the description, of course, and then go ahead and launch the program and, and then select data recovery among all of these tools. And the next up, you're going to click on recover Android data. And then once you're in, go to recover from broken phone tab, and then just go ahead and select the different types of files that you want to recover. And if you just want to recover everything, simply click on select all. And then Dr. Phone will then ask you exactly what is wrong with your phone. And if the screen is broken, then go ahead and select black screen or screen is broken in order to be able to proceed from here. And now in the next window, go ahead and select the correct name and model of your device. And if you're unsure about the correct answer here, just go ahead and click on how to confirm uh, the device model for guidance. In the next window, you will be provided with clear instructions on how to enter download mode on your specific device. And that is going to be very important here. And once the phone is finally in download mode, and Dr. Phone will start to analyze it and then scan it for all of your files. After scanning it, all the files are going to be displayed in the next window. And then select the ones that you would like to recover and then click on recover. And then from there, you should be pretty good to go with Dr. Phone. Again, it is definitely the easiest method to go with under these circumstances. And now, do you want to try to access all of your Android data using an external tool on your computer? Well, there's definitely an option for that. And this has only recently been made possible, uh, but a new free tool known as Android Control, which is actually being developed by XEA forum member K.GenQ1, and can now enable you to gain access to your Android device via a PC, and consequently save all of your data. This can be a huge relief if you have broken your phone, for instance, and are panicking about your info. You will need to have enabled USB debugging on your device in order for this method to work, and you also need to install ADB on your computer. Here's how to use Android control. So go ahead and install ADB on your PC, and the links to that are going to be down in the description. Uh, the program is then going to create a shortcut on your desktop that can then be used to open a command prompt. And once this command prompt is open, I just go ahead and enter the following code that is going to be displayed on screen now. I'm going to leave the screen up for a little bit, but do feel free to pause if you need more time to grab it. And once you're done, I just go ahead and reboot your device. And at this point, simply connect your Android device to your PC and Android control will pop up, allowing you to control your device through your PC. And while this solution will work for some, it is best suited to those who love coding already and to have already installed the USB debugging on your smartphone. So if this is you, then you're very much in luck here. And that's pretty much it. So go ahead and make sure to leave us a like if you like this video and then comment down below any of your questions. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this and I will be seeing you all later. Have a good one and enjoy.